Hello everybody and welcome back to my Enter Gungeon series, which we try to achieve 100%. In the last episode, we did, we did a little challenge run where I played as the Marine, and we did a chest, uh, well, I was going to say a chest only run, I mean a no chest run. Um, so we just weren't allowed to open any chests, and actually we got incredibly lucky and just got about a billion NPCs. Uh, it worked out very well for us, and we, we basically got as much items as we would have would have done in a normal room with chests just because of how many NPCs we got and like we got the black market and stuff as well and we got the ability to steal and we got a lot of curse and curse bullets and it was just it was just a dandy run it was just a dandy run uh, had a good time and uh, like I said um, in the last episode at the end just leave any more suggestions for any like sort of challenge runs that we can do without mod the gungeon for now and I'll, I'll see about doing them i uh, got a nice little chest there straight away which is always good uh, blue chests are nice uh, but yeah it's going to be nice to do a few little challenges just to spice things up on our way to um, on our way to 100% we are still technically quite a ways off even though we only have like I think it's um, we've got the gunzang We've got Life Orb, we've got Grey Mouser once we unlock it, uh, we've got Aged Bell and we've got Shades Revolver to pick up, that's it. But, that could take us an eternity, like, you never actually know how long that's going to take because it's all about random chance now, it's all down to just if we get them weapons, if we get them items, and Shades Revolver, like I said before, I don't know how we've not had that yet, so it could be, it could be forever before we get that. It's it's incredible that we still haven't had it yet. Like it's a it's a fairly common item in in, uh, in the gungeon normally. Like I wouldn't say common like every other run, but it's com it's common enough to see it before you unlock everything in the game. Definitely. So it kind of baffles me that we haven't seen it yet, but we'll we'll see it. It'll get, we'll get around to it. We'll get around to it. If we see it in a shop, we just gotta like buy it. <laughs> But Gunsang we should see pretty quick because we've only just unlocked. Usually when you've just unlocked something you have a higher chance of seeing it in the next run. So Gunsang should come pretty quick. And same with Grey Mouse when we unlock that. But Aged Bell, um, the Life Orb and um, Shades Revolver are all, all just going to kind of be just down to random chance. We're just going to have to wait and see how long it takes to see them. We, we just don't know. Uh, i got a free half out there which is rather nice. And let's go see what our shop is like. So we do have ghost bullets, which is always nice. Uh, I would very much like to get them. Uh, a bullet mod on the first floor is always nice. I think they'll cost about 65 though, so I don't know if we'll be able to afford them. I never remember what tier they are. I think I think they're C tier. If they're C tier, they might be a bit, they might be a bit less than about, about 45. If they're 45, we can probably afford one if we get a key from our boss. If we don't, then we might be a bit uh, might be a bit stuck for it. And also, it depends on what our chests are like. We are just doing a normal run this time, so we do want to open our chests if they're half decent. I'm pretty sure we've got two uh, two green chests on our uh, no chest run as well on the first floor, which is which is kind of annoying. <laughs> we never normally get two green chests. Whee! Um, but yeah, like we normally get like a brown and a blue. Okay, a brown and a blue. <laughs> what did I just say? We um, normally get a brown and a blue or something like that, and we've got two greens, so we have to destroy them both. Luckily, we didn't get any red or black chests, though, so it's not like we have to destroy any top tier chests. Right. Yeah, it's not like we have to sacrifice a lot. I think this is our, um... This will be our thingy room work. Yeah, there it is. Our barrel room. Um, I have just woken up again, like, literally, like, five minutes ago, so... If I sound a bit nasally, if I sound a bit... A bit, a bit off, that might be why, but... I. I do ensure you I am I am in good health. I am fine. Right. Do you know what? How much are you? It's kinda of weird to go the Molotov launcher and the Molotov. So that's forty five, yeah. Um There we go, sell that. Thank you. Buy that. I just I want it. And then we can buy a key and uh, go down to our oubliette. And we might not actually be able to afford the. Um, we might not be able to afford the thingy because of this actually, uh, the rat key, because we're going. We'll be going down to the next floor with like basically zero money, depending on how much this guy gives us. If we want to go down to the oubliette, that is. Um, so I'll have to actually see how that works out. But you know what? I don't mind. Some, I like sometimes not going to the rat fight because we do go a lot. We do go a lot and a lot. Come up here. Come up here. Just stop with that. Stop with that. Yeah, we do we do go a lot, so I don't mind every now and again just not going down there. It doesn't uh, it doesn't make too much of a difference. I'd rather have a cool bullet mod. 
and I believe Ghost Bullets is cool enough. It can um, like make a lot of items very good, so I think it's worthwhile. I had to use that blank. I didn't really want to, but I had to. Cool. Got a flawless. Fortunately, no secret room, but that's the way it be. Got the banana, which we did have a good, a good run with the other day, but unfortunately, with um, with with ghost bullets, it's not it's not too great, not too great. So, buy the key. We could sell it. Let's go and destroy our chest first. First, see if we get anything good. Got okay, junk. You probably just get triple junk. You know, you know how it be. Last on that last room where we destroyed all the chests, we we got junk on I think every single chest. Half a heart. I suppose it's better, but not right now. And there we go. And an explosion. What a nice roster. Right, so let's go down to the next floor. So unfortunately, we are a Molotov down, but I think I think piercing shot is going to make up for that in the most part. I believe the Molotov is like. It's like a pretty weak part of our kit, like you very rarely get to use it in a situation where it makes sense because you want to be using it on multiple enemies at once and you just don't get uh, enough chances to do that so I feel like it kind of gets underused quite a lot and therefore it's just kind of not worth having. <laughs> so I'd, I'd rather sell it for a little bit of extra dosh. Go away snipers. Stop trying to kill me. Damn son off. Such low range. I'm trying to use up all the ammo of it now, I've used some of it. Ow! How the fuck? I didn't even know how he got me. Whoa. Nice. Yeah, just get all the ammo used up. Makes sense, too. Yeah, I don't know how this guy got me the first time around. But yeah, with this gun, obviously, piercing shots doesn't really make much sense, but if with our later guns, it's gonna, it's gonna help a lot. And there's a lot of guns that can make really, really good. Anything with bouncy shot, but uh, like that like Rubidine. The Rubidine does um, does have bouncy shot, but doesn't have piercing. So with piercing, it becomes a great gun. There's quite a few like that actually. So we can make quite a lot of guns. We get much much better. Like sort of upgrade them. Four shots left. See, so, like then I uh, accidentally missed him, but it meant that I got the um, meant that I got the other one instead. So it all worked out. All right, cool. And hopefully we can open some chests on this floor. Like I'd like to be able to open both, since so, seen as though we didn't open either on our last floor. But it really depends on luck of the draw of key drops. Like I can't believe we can get a single key drop on our first floor. That's kind of rare. Normally you get at least one. Stop following me, please. You're aggravating me. Stop it. Stop it, run. Stop it. Got a big mushroom here. Big daddy mushroom. Ow! I was trying to dodge that guy. God damn it, mushroom boy. Stop. Stop with your shit. Oh, it's this room. Cool. Cool. Oh, we did it. Nice one. I'm getting better at that. I'm getting better at it. It's, it's it's sort of just you've got to you've got to realise that you've got to take some risky dodges on that room. Like that looked like I wasn't going to make it, but I did. So you just just got to kind of believe. <laughs> Sounds kind of gay, but you just got to kind of like believe in yourself. Oh, that's the way to start. And I say, hey, what a wonderful candidate. They don't want to hear watch Hey Arnold. Was it Hey Arnold that one? Yeah, it was. No, it was, no, that was that was that was the other one. That's Arthur. I'm thinking of Arthur. Anyone here watch Arthur? Hey Arnold is good too, but. There were some derp kids TV shows. Oh damn. Oh, the Spongebob as well. I'm guessing most of you have seen Spongebob. If you haven't, go watch it. It's on Netflix, I believe. Although, I don't know I don't know which seasons. I'm, I'm pretty sure I tra tried watching it the other day and it was like only the later seasons, which are all trash because after season four, they changed writer and it got really, it got really childish. Like, it's obviously Spongebob is a kids TV show. Oh my god, I'm taking so much damage. Um, it's a kids TV show, but like, in the, uh, in the previous, like, four, in the first four seasons, it had a lot of adult humour in it too, for the, for the parents sort of thing, and it made it all funnier, and that's why this, it's why it's so memeable, I think. 
But yeah, um, we. This is the reason, actually, in the uh, not last episode, episode before, where I, I didn't play the uh, vampire lady so much because sometimes I just get hit so much on this floor. It really depends. It can really all depend. You need to die quick. But this is why piercing shots is good. Then we're just hitting like multiple enemies at once. Just basically save some ammo. Saves a little bit of ammo. Damn it, dude. Damn you. Bat boy. Gotcha. Gotcha. Why don't we just go to the shop first? Anyway, it's got a shrine here. Okay. I will always take that. Extra damage is always nice. I'll take 25% extra damage whenever I can take it. And we've got a blue chest drop yet again. Keep getting chest drops. Seems to be a very regular occurrence at the minute. We've got Keyboy. He's got Daruma. This is a fantastic shop. So we've got the ability to steal for 42. We've got Daruma, which basically guarantees us the rat kill. We've got the Sling, which is a very good boss killer. And we've got a key. Like, that's, that's a pretty dope shop. But we need keys first. This is, this is our dilemma. Thing. I'd, I'd like to get the ability to steal to steal from um, the key shop, but he will just close up on us because I I just can't steal reliably from from the uh, key shop with the grapple hook from any shop with the grapple hook. I'm so bad at stealing with it. I just can't do it because on, on console it's so difficult to aim the grapple hook correctly. Got a green chest there as well, and we got a crest. Yeah, it's so difficult to aim it reliably that you just sometimes you just can't. But we, we do need to open a chest though, like really badly. Throw a banana at you guys. Damn it. Oh wait, that kind of worked. That kind of worked. Kind of bounce through them and then back at them again. Bouncing back at your boys. Yeah, this pistol's still really good though. Killing things in one whole mag, which is pretty decent. Or less. Depending on their health. Bullshit. But yeah, we really, really could do with like a strong weapon now, right now. Cool. Get some health. Like taking out them um, professional snipers in one clip is very useful. Let's get the grenades. Let's get the grenades. Oh, we got them. This will be our next chest bullet, or be our boss. No, it's our boss. Cool. This will be our next chest over here. So. Like I said, the um, the key shop is very tempting just because. Oh my god, hell, hell on earth! Why did I blank? And even kill any of them? I blanked for some weird reason. Don't judge me for it. Oh my god, die! You split shell bitch. Why wouldn't he die? Okay. Now I'm annoyed because we just don't have any keys. And if we buy, the thing is, if we buy a key, we can't afford to get to the rat fight. Let's go fight our boss. See how that goes. But yeah, like we need keys. Come on, Nick. Come on, game. If this game, if this boss gives us two keys, that will be, that will be great. But it won't. And these bananas are doing back all damage. Might as well choose this. Yeah, piercing shots is making the bananas really terrible. Which is an unfortunate side effect of piercing shots. Sometimes it can hinder items, sometimes it can help them. And I got hit again. Nice. And of course he goes underground while I've got my damage boost. Even nicer. We've lost a decent amount of health here. Like, we've been hit on this floor like six times. But, you know what? We're making it work. We're making it work. Oh damn. Stop doing this attack, you shitbag. God damn you, big blah blah blah. I just need him to calm his shit and start dying. Please. And I got hit again. My god. Die to the blobby lord. 
Sounds cool. Yep, sounds cool. Sounds like a definite possibility right now. My god, I'm doing so terribly. Thank god. Holy shit. That like four times on the blobby lord. He gave us two keys. Now I don't give a damn. You sweet, sweet bastard. Although he gave us half a heart, which is a bit annoying. So we opened this. We got angry bullets. A herming bullets, even. I'm pretty happy with herming bullets. And... Do we buy the rumor? One key will place us at... Well, place us at like 42, which I don't believe would be enough to get thingy, so... We can either buy the rumor and guarantee us the rat kill, or open a chest. I'm going to open a chest because I'd rather have a weapon. And I'm super glad I did. Membrane is incredible. Let's go destroy all the chest. Cool. Now we can head down to our next floor. Feeling quite happy. Not happy about our health. Our health's in a dire situation. We might as well take the um, take the little crest just to just to say we have it. Okay. No secret room for us, unfortunately. But yeah, like we kind of need it <laughs> just for the health benefits rather than like going down to that floor because I probably won't go down to that floor. It does extend the room by a decent amount. But now we should be able to afford the um, we should be able to afford the rat key now, so that's good. We already have care, so we don't need to take our care ceramics. Right. I'm just going to use the banana, just because its ammo is relatively worthless right now, simply because it pierces and it's making it kind of shit. But the herming shot's going to make it better, so... We might as well just use it to room clear for a little bit. It's going to help out when you... Big beefy bastard. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Five bananas. How many bananas can you take? Yeah, the direct impact damage of the banana is not good. And is that, that's that health gone. Thank you. I should have just done that from the start. Holy shit, that was so obnoxious. And the phoenix. What a shot. Okay, sometimes it explodes instantly, and I'm, I'm not really sure what causes it. Yeah, the, the, the split banana is actually herm, which is really nice now. Like, look at that. <laughs> you can see it, like, herming around the room. Whee! But yeah, the, the impact damage of the banana is super low. So, it's not really doing that great in that respect. Gotcha. Oh, health. Health is good. I like me some yummy health. But yeah, we're on, we're on pretty pretty dire health situation here, so hopefully that fixes out itself up soon. Just get some nice little health drops to make it make it a little bit better. Obviously, we're a, we're a health container down as well for playing that shrine. But I will always play that shrine. I will never not play that shrine. It's super useful. Green chest. I would open that if I get a key. Should be able to afford one actually. So. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. Cool. I'm gonna just. What's the point of using the banana? Do you know what? No, actually, actually, that's fine because we do have the the um the dragon fire for the boss. I'll keep that for the boss. I'm just use membrane for room clearing. Membrane and the banana. I'm gonna try. Like I said, I'm gonna try use the banana just to get rid of this ammo. We got a lot of it. Um. Well, we had a lot of it. We've got like seven left now. But it's just it makes sense because it is killing things. Like. Not every time, but it is killing things in the most part, so... As long as we hit them in the right sort of way, it does kill them. But, obviously, not the greatest. But yeah, you see there? Like, all the shots hermed on. Oh my god, you shitbag. Oh, a free key is very nice. But yeah, that was that was rather annoying. This thing with herman shots going to be pretty good. The bouncy shots can herm too, I believe. Damn, I'm getting hit so, so damn much. I shouldn't die. I don't think I'll die. Just, I just need to kill this like flawless this next boss, and it should drop a decent amount of health to me for me and get me back in a good spot. Like you can usually rely on um, you can usually rely on bosses to drop a uh, get amount of health. What we got here? Just a cheeky little bullet kid. I got. Gotcha. And next chest, what's that gonna be? What's that gonna be? It's 
stop it. Stop coming for me. Don't want to know your shit. There we go. Push most things to the pit there. And another key. Oh, that's perfect. So we've got, so, so, got a gun muncher here or a shop. A shop with Holy Grail. Fuck yeah, bud. Um, I'll probably take Holy Grail. Uh, first, open this. The planetary gun, it's, it's okay. It's okay. So, wait, 115. So if I, if I do that, I'll have like 14 left. How much is the Holy Grail? It better not be stupid expensive. It's 42. Shit, I can't afford it. Um, I'll see. I'll see after our boss. I will see after our boss. Okay, this should should be a fairly okay flawless. So we've got a pretty rapid fire gun, which almost entirely negates the effects of his um of his of his babies and his um missiles, which are like the hardest bit about him. Uh I can just get rid of his child there. I can't get rid of his child, it's not working. And the Herman bullets is just gonna make things easier as well. There we go. I'm actually getting rid of his child. But yeah the rapid fire bullets basically make the missiles almost useless to for him because they just take two hits of any damage and obviously when we're rapid firing that much. Holy shit, the keys are insane. Ooh, ice bomb plus homing bullets. Homing bombs, I believe. Ice bomb. Yeah, smart bombs. Cool. So we might as well open this. We've got, we've got enough keys now. And we might as well just take that and then take the bomb. Because we need the heal anyways. Um, I've got to make a decision here. Do I want infinite ammo or do I want the rat fight? Well, that's 42. Let's, let's, let's count up. Let's count up. So 42 plus 42 is 84. That'll leave us with like... Will that leave us with 50? I don't know if it will. Yeah, I'm going to do this. Right. Do that. Do that. Yeah, I can't afford that. Cool. That's fine. That's fine. I think this is more fun. Let's go see if we can find our secret room. Oh wait, we've got a synergy with this as well. Nice. I forgot about that. Nice. Cool. Now let's hop down to the next floor. Yeah, I just think that I just think that the rat fight is something we do so commonly that I don't have to force myself to do it every single time. And it does help in winning, but I think I think Holy Grail is gonna make winning even easier. Uh, because just it's just unlimited ammo, isn't it? So everyone wants unlimited ammo. Why does this bomb take so long to explode? God damn. Nice. This thing already has piercing shots, so piercing shots kind of doing nothing here. But with planetary gun, it's really good because it's always going to make the uh, planets orbiters. I forgot about that. Cool. We got rid of the shadow boy. Get rid of you now. There we go. Nice. Obviously, we do have a mirror room there. Unless it's a great chest, I'm not opening it. Because 3.5 chest is a lost take. Considering we already have, like, 3.5. It's a green chest, I'll open it. Bug boots is meh. It's alright. I'm not displeased. Because it helps on the rat... Uh, I was going to say it helps on the rat fight. We're not going to the rat fight. It helps us just in general, really. Um, especially on this floor where there's a lot of poison. Uh, but, in general, not so happy about that trade. But not the worst trade he'll have ever done. It's so annoying how long the ice bomb takes to explode. Ooh, a free blank. Yeah, bug boots are okay. I just can't believe they're in a green chest. They should be in blue chests, really. Like, there's poison immunity in lower chests, and the poison from the roll is actually not that useful most of the time. Where are you? Shadow cat, you're, you're jammed. Ow! You just fucking poked me with the, um... With the actual, uh... What's it called? Like, the, the little tendrils he makes. He just, like, hit me with it. He whipped me. Gave me a good old whipping. Right, so we'll go check this first, because this is probably a gun muncher. Oh, no, it's a key shop. Holy shit, I'm gonna buy the AK. I'm gonna 
buy me the eight key. No, I'm gonna steal me the eight key. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I don't need to. I'll, it'll just increase my curse. So there's no point. Thank you. Now we're gonna open all our chests. Yeah. See, this has become a much more interesting run now. So we wouldn't be able to afford that because we need a key for our rat floor. Now we don't. It's all good. I made the right decision. I should be using my tail type blank as well. Who's forgetting? See, that's pretty. That's pretty decent. That's pretty decent. I like freezing enemies like that. God damn you! And you're going underground. Going underground. Going underground. Oh. Yes. Oh yes. It's a mimic. The fuck. The fuck. Okay, I, I, was just, I was trying to use ice bomb there. But I actually need it. Zilla shotgun should be okay with piercing shots. I don't. I believe the charge shot gets piercing, but the normal shot doesn't. Yeah, the normal shot's actually pretty decent on on the Zilla shotgun. The problem is the charge shots kind of shit. So we go from three two three seven to. Yeah, yeah. The the charge shot takes up full ammo no matter what, so I'm just never going to use the charge shot. The charge shot's just cool. You should use it as a, as a good shotgun. With bouncy bullets, this would be pretty insane. With an accuracy upgrade, this would be pretty insane. Yeah, it has a charge shot. I, don't, I just don't think the charge shot is worth using. It's not very good. Right, we've got our boss fight there. Still got another chest to find. But yeah, what are the chances of that? Got a red chest mimic. Don't get them very often. You know, whilst they seem one of those boys, the, there is a synergy that makes the uh, charge shot pretty good. It, uh, it makes like the bullets bounce faster and the, the, just the shotgun deal more damage in general, um, which is pretty useful. But for the most part, I feel like the actual shotgun shot of it normally is probably just better. Okay. We got by that. We gotta get through this. We gotta get through this. Doot, 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 doot. Yeah, I, I might, I might buy um, the explosive decoy if if I feel necessary because it might give us the chance to steal some really cool, uh, some really cool stuff later on. And I know we're already on high curse, but it might end up being worth it, especially on like the blacksmith and things like that. So we'll have to see. We would let us stole the right key last floor, but no, that's too, that's too good for us. Easy rooms, easy life. But yeah, I, th I think I think I'd rate the Zilla shotgun like I'd rate it uh, B tier. I wouldn't rate it A tier. Nice. Oh, and hyper light blaster. I would rate the best tier. Always and forever. Ech. Ech. Right. Now let's get out hyper light blaster. I guess. Okay, this does not pierce. Good. I was hoping that was the case. Because if, if you pierce it, it counts as a miss, I think. Right, I'm going to have to be careful with this. because Simply because of this. Oh, shit. Ice bomb, I guess. Try it out. Cool. Oh my god, I'm feeling a quite quite claustrophobic right now. Oh, we did it there. We did it. Nice. I was feeling very pushed in there. I only lost two shots from the Hyper Light Blaster as well, which is pretty decent. Our ammo capacity up is good, and the ability to carry two active items means it is a no-brainer to buy the uh, explosive decoy, because we get to keep both. Oh, wait, what? Oh, it's 63. Come on now. I didn't think it would be that expensive. So we can't afford it. Poo. But we got the air key, so who gives a damn to the next floor? Yeah, I, th I thought it'd be like 50 or something like that. Like 55. I wasn't expecting it to be fucking 63. I'm probably just used to playing the pilot and it being cheaper. 
Yeah, we need to make sure we use our bomb whenever possible. And also, our table tech blanks. That actually kills these enemies. I just forget about that. Stop being alive. How about you? Stop it. Stop it. Your aliveness bothers me. Just do this. <laughs> Freeze the shit out of that boy. There you go. Kill all them. Kill all them. Stop it, zombies. Why are you just unlimited? Why are you forever on me? Not a good position for these two to be in. Like, back to back on each other. They moved the... A free key is useful um, for if we find another key shop, but otherwise pretty terrible. Otherwise the A key has us covered. Hello. <laughs> I blanked him into that. That's funny. Right. Got him. Gotcha. Yeah, blanked him into the uh, ice bomb. Actually, okay, no. Now I'm happy we got the key. Because we can get into that room now. Ow. Calm down. Calm yourself, boy. Where is he? He's up here. Stop being alive. Oh, that shot sh definitely should have hit us. I don't know how it didn't. <laughs> right, go in here. Get this guy going. This guy can always give you good shit. Sure thing, little dude. I'll let you know. Sure thing. Yeah, my original plan was to buy um, the lodestone ammo as well, so we could stun all the enemies in the room by flipping tables. But, didn't quite get that ability, so... Shame. But, oh well. That's how life be. Alright, let's use a different weapon for a bit. Um, use the membrane again. I was liking the membrane. Membrane, and uh, icky. Hey, Gunzang! Gunzang with herming shot is incredible, by the way. Uh, but yeah, Gunzang is one of the items we needed, so that's... I told you we'd see it soon. Um, that ticks off the list. Got only a few more to go. I think Age Bell's gonna be the last one. Age Bell's a really big pain in the ass to pick up. Like, you just never see it. And when you do, it's always too expensive. Come on, new. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, it's always too expensive when you do see it, so it's like... Probably not gonna have a good time finding that. Get frozen. Oh yes. Don't teleport away from me, my bitch. Here are all them shots. Don't wanna deal with your shit. Hey, nice. Love the membrane for that. Just its ability to room clear so quickly is so nice. It just clears house. Clears up shot. Don't need ammo again. Really not a top priority right now. Give us armor drops. That's like all we could find useful, really. And I just almost sacrificed my armor for that key, even though I didn't need it. But it worked out. I didn't get hit. I don't know how, but I didn't get hit. There you go. Easy kill on that guy. There's another dude down here, yeah. What are you doing, boy? What you doing, boy? Come through here. Hopefully, our shop has something dish in it. Or maybe, hopefully, not, so we can get a blacksmith shop. Blacksmith shop usually has better stuff, so I always try tend not to buy stuff on the fourth floor, even if, the, even if it's decent, simply for that reason. Yeah, I know I know the first time we see Age Bell or Shade Revolver, it'll be too expensive, we'll be able to afford it. Guaranteed. Ow. Big block bitch. Big block bitch boy. What you doing over there? Ow. I've been hit again. By a smooth criminal, as it seems. Oh. These guys can be one shot basically. Like the bounce the bounce shots for some reason bounce in them while they're spawning and so you can hit them twice with one shot. And I got stuck on a wall there, but I suppose it's ammo. I will use our Gunzang for our boss. Hey you. Stop being living. Yeah, yeah. Robot's leg is good. I like it because it makes me one speedy boy and gives me one armor. 
Yes. Easy room that, goddamn. So what you got for us? Yeah, it's like I said, luckily nothing. Nothing of value. Just armor and keys. Would be good if we didn't have unlimited keys, but we do. So I do not care about that shop. And we got our map sorted out so we can go over to him and see what he'll give us. Go something cool. The hex are good. The hex are good is good. It's not cool, but it's good. I mean, it is cool if you're new, but for, for me, it's not so cool. Gunzang Town. Gunzang with homing bullets is great. Homing and piercing, at least. I think it already has piercing, maybe. I'm pretty sure it does. But I don't know if you can see, but there's quite a few... Oh, shit, I got hit straight away. There's quite a few shots that are just in there, like, permanently. Like, they're just circling around him constantly. And they just keep doing damage. They do less and less every hit, but they keep doing damage, nonetheless. I've been hit again. And it does it does pretty insane damage by the end. There we go, look. Look at all them shots. Hey, oh riddle of lead. Fuck yes. Riddle of lead's so good. Full health, damage up, speed up, roll up. It's just it's all good. Basically gives you a bit of everything. It gives you a taste of the good life. And yeah, it's gonna it's gonna allow us to do pretty damn well. Riddle of lead is derp. Right. Um I'll use this for a bit. Oh my god. The knockback on this thing is crazy. Ow. What did I get hit by then? I don't even know. Why did I roll that? What the fuck am I doing in my life? This... I'm a terrible player. What am I doing? For some reason I assume because they have a massive speed upgrade. I'm just going to be able to roll over the most genomes guys. That was unfair. You spawned it on top of me. Holy shit. So we're two hearts down in our second room, basically. That's nice. Um, that's real nice. Go away, shotgun boy. This with Herming is actually duh. Shit. Back off. Back off. Back off. Oh my god. He's not he's not having a good time. By he I mean me. I don't know why I said he. Because my character's a she. So it doesn't even make sense if I was talking about my character. I'm just talking about myself in the third person, like a weirder. Who does that? Right, let's 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 get rid of some guns we've not been using. So we might as well get rid of planetary gun, we haven't been using that at all. And the Zilla shotgun as well, because just it's not it's not too great. Give us something dope, please. Glacier is pretty dope. Glacier is pretty dope. Um, yes, get knocked back as to fuck. Get to fuck back. Mega hand is something. Probably won't use it, but it's something. I just, I don't know, Meg, like, I've said it so many times, but Mega Hand is one of them items that I feel, oh shit, just go, just go, just go, just go, just go. I'm going to take so much damage on this floor. God damn it. Uh, it's one of them guns that I just feel bad using because it's too good for its tier. Like, Sling's different, but that's just, that's just abuse. I'm on such low health, I could really do with a full heal right now. Come on. Stop it. What you got for us? Thank you. Genuinely. That's actually okay, but most times for trash. Hey, it's my armor. I don't really need it, but okay. I froze him a bit. And I got hit again. Holy god damn, I'm bad at this game sometimes. A gold casing. Half heart on the armor is more important than the gold casing. Oh, we have to take literally trigger finger. It's got a synergy. And get back to full health. It's got the um, the riddle of lead synergy, which is insane for those of you that haven't had it. It increases your fire rate whenever you get a kill by a, for a decent amount of time. And it's so good. It's so, so good. 
like your fire rate gets increased massively. I won't say we're back up to full health, but we're back up to good health. <laughs> we're back up to a state in which I'm I'm happy. But yeah, we we basically get ludicrous damage whenever we get a kill. It's, it, we do use a lot more ammo. That is that is a fair point, but it's still very good. It's still very very good. With a gun like this, I love it. Thank God he was selling so much health to us. Cool. We good. Die. Yeah, yeah. Need another chest before we uh, move along. Move along, ma'am. Let's get rid of that. Get that going. Where did that ice bomb go? I don't even know where it went. It was like underneath him and then for as many instantly died. Get rid of that. Get rid of that table. He's a blank effect. There we go. Hey, hey, what the fuck? Still something alive? You? Hey, full armor for that's good. Another fucking gold chest mimic. What the hell? God damn you, stare back, heathen. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Like, a gold chest, um,. Health upgrade is normally pretty sad, a pretty sad day, but I'm pretty happy with that considering because we just um, we just kind of saved ourselves for bullet health because we were taking too much damage. Oh, it's a secret room where they said us that. Um, let's go to our boss, I guess, and use the Gunzang. The Gunzang and Glacier, I think, are the two we want most. Like I said, the Gunzang is just going to crowd bullets around him and it's going to deal a lot of damage. See how much it's dealing already. It's really cool. I, I love the Gunzang. With Herming Shot, at least. With her without Herming Shot, it's still a good weapon. It's just very inaccurate, so it's hard to use. But with Herming Shot, you can just kind of sit back and relax. Let it do let it do the work and let the good times roll. Like, it could really do the flaws against this guy. It would help a lot. I'm actually going to keep them alive, simply for the fact that... Um, if I kill them, I think. Yeah, it gives me this, it gives me the fire rate upgrade, and I want the fire rate upgrade. Yeah, look at that. I think they stay even even throughout his next phase as well. Yeah, for some reason the herming shots on on this gun, especially, just just like seem to not ever disappear. They kind of I don't know if, I think they can disappear, but they go for a really long time. I think that when was the last time we shot? And they're still going. Yeah, they can disappear. It should take a really long time for them to disappear. Uh, this isn't the best. Um, this is pretty good. Oh, we almost one cycled him, but we're out of ammo. God damn it, game. So close. But you've ruined me. Oh my gosh, do you want to be straight up anymore? Literally a complete straight line? I don't think I've ever had that before. Cool. A nice, easy dragon flawless there. That puts us in a way better position for bullet health. And with our Lichy Trigger Finger synergy, we're going to be good. Like, I'm going to show you with the membrane. It's going to be mad shit with the membrane. Right, to the next floor. Nothing else we could buy from the uh, from, from the blacksmith that I wanted anyway, so. But that was a great blacksmith shop. Lichy Trigger Finger is a decent item anyways. When you have Riddle of Lead, it is a god tier item. That's The synergy is so powerful. It's probably one of the strongest synergies I've had in a while. Like, it just makes any gun ultimately like better. Look at that! Look how fast we can fire. Just, just shoot your shots. I guess we'll take plague pistol. <laughs> okay, wait, what? This is a, this is a dead end. Thanks, game. Thanks, game. Oh my god, it's insane. It's so powerful. I love it. All, all we have to do is get one kill and it instantly becomes insane. I hate you. Out of the wall, bitch. Out of the wall, bitch. If 
we had a reload up, that's, this would be so good. It's already really good, but this would be even better if we had like a reload speed up. Oh, he uses, like I said, he uses a lot more ammo, and it can sometimes hit the DPS gap, but my god, if this is not fun. It's so fun. Oh, yes. Um, excuse me, you deal contact damage now? Didn't think he did. And, couple ammo. I'm getting hit a lot. I, I'm just doing bad this run. Like, this run as a whole, I'm just not playing well. I'm playing like an idiot. Keep getting hit to really stupid things. It's good as well that it triggers with literally any enemy, so you can you can kill these guys and it gives you the um, the big fire rate boost. It's just manic. We fill the room with shots. Shut, 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 everybody. Oh, that needs to stop happening. Enemies keep spawning on me. It's really annoying. Come on, you. How are you not dead? Extra blank saves us a lot. Yeah, um, it's just annoying. Like, we keep getting enemies just spawn on top of us. That's not really fair. How are we still on this high ammo? It's just because we keep getting hit. Shot group, no. Shot group, no. That's alright, we, we dealt with him. As long as you like roll back over their shots, it's not too bad. It's just when there when there's a few of them or there's like shots from other enemies that are coming in with them and then you just can't deal with it. You just don't have time to deal. Go away you lot. Go away you lot. Oh come on you, I hate them things. An extra key, that's useful. Not. Okay, there you go. I gotta say, as long as you shoot your shots with a gap in between, then I don't care. A nice little gap for us. Yeah, there we go. Fairly decent. Fairly decent. Almost out of ammo on this thing. There we go, out of ammo. Um, I'm not sure what to use. I think I'm just gonna use this again. This was relatively good. Oh, we could use the membrane again. <laughs> Nah, I'm gonna switch. I'm, I'm gonna switch to the um, the dragon fire anyways because it's dope. It's so fun to use. It's such a high fire rate weapon anyways that with this buff it just becomes pretty god tier. This thing needs to die. I guess. Should spawn a shot group. Where is he? There you go. Got him. He seems to be to be the last one to spawn in, so you gotta look for that on this room at least. Yeah, it's half a heart. It's great. Yeah, just freeze him. Thank you. Makes that easier. Come on now, you two. Stop it. There we go. Ah, went the wrong way twice again. I always get to this room and go the wrong way. Both times. Oh. I don't think I killed that guy. No, there's a guy over here. Didn't even think about that. Oh, shit. Ow. You bastard! You rip on my ammo, though, so I suppose I can't. I can't be too mad. Can't be too mad. Oh God damn the fire at set! It's inside. It's insane, and here's a boss. So, Gunzang again, I think maybe. I don't know how it. No, it's just not performing as well on this guy. Let's go with Glacier. Ow. With piercing, this isn't as good. This thing. He spawns, he spawns enemies anyways, like so. We might be able to get the buff from him. Damn it. Still got hit. Of course I go for the fucking jammed one first. I just want the fire rate up. Oh my god, he's hitting me so much. He's hit me again. Holy shit, we've taken way too much damage against this guy already. 
not in a, we're not in a fit position to win this at the minute. Like, it sounds stupid, I know, but honestly, three and a half hearts with the amount I just got hit there. If I get hit that many times in this next phase, I'm done for. I'm just absolutely done, Yun Rings. I mean, the damage we're doing is insane, but still doesn't like, help us dodge. Right. Just blank the attacks I know I can't dodge. This attack's fine. This attack's fine. Cool. This attack's sometimes fine. This time it was not fine. And let's just do that, yeah. Cool. Right, right now I think we're okay. We've got two blanks and three full hearts for this next phase. This is this is what we need. So I always try to go directly down when facing this this phase, because you can sometimes do that. Yeah, this straight away. Which just makes this a bit easier. This is annoying. I don't know if the ice one's gonna be any use against this one this uh, boss, but I can try it out. Maybe it might at least be a bit of extra damage. I find it so weird there's like a, a, a free spot here that you can just get into. It's so strange. I would end this phase, but this phase is actually not so bad when you don't jump off the map. Like, God damn it. I want to jump off the map. This is easy. Yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go through all the bosses and do like a little tutorial soon. I dodged the wrong way then, but we got the kill. Either way. But yeah, I think I'm going to go through the... Um, Go through all the bosses and do a little tutorial sort of thing on how to beat them all. Uh, just because some people have asked for it and it'd be nice to extend my guide. I know I was planning on doing a part two to that guide and never really got around to it. I think it might be a good way to sort of get back into that and bring some more views to the channel, I think. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that pretty insane run. Uh, it was another pretty quick one, no rat kill, uh, but we got some really good stuff. I think Holy Grail can always like set precedent for a run to be fantastic. That's exactly what we did there. With that riddle of lead synergy, it really, it really kicked things up a notch. I think I've already used the thumbnail riddle of lead though. If I if I have, I can't use it again. So I'm gonna have to decide. But either way, good run, good fun, good time. And that's another dragon kill ticked off the list. That's two out of five. And we got the gun zang, so we are making our way to 100%. We're getting progression every single episode at the minute. It's beautiful. And that's another win. That's like 13 wins in a row. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. I enjoyed very much, sir. I think, actually, I'll be doing a live stream today, which currently is... I'm sorry to date this video, but it's currently... What's the date today? The 24th of the 10th. So, 24th of October. Uh, if you are watching that today, um, I'll be doing a live stream. I don't know if I'll be doing it before or after this video airs, so I don't know why I'm mentioning it, actually. I might end up doing it before this video airs. So... I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I might do it after. It depends. I'll be doing. I'll be doing some a little bit of live streaming, I think. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.